double whammy today. Good evening. <laughs> it is late. We're on and an iPhone. We're on an iPhone because I left the memory card in the computer when we ran out. But we ran out. We're going to see our nephews to give them their Christmas gifts and to just spend have company. Have some burritos. Have some burritos and spend some time with them. Yeah. So that's where we're at. We're still going to film on the iPhone. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. We'll make it work. We're at our house. We're at their house. She's on the key no, no, we are all pirates. We're all pirates? Yeah. Whoa. We have an astronaut and a pirate here. And we're going to play Jumanji. Okay, let's see how it goes. Okay, I'll get to the game. Bye! All right, so I, we have a promise. This is a two-part synopsis. One, we promise to you to bring a more of a normal functioning vlog tomorrow. Huh. It's our last full day in Chicago is tomorrow. Yeah. Today was a lot of relaxation, like well, most of this trip. But I think, like most people, that's what the holidays are for. Yeah. Well, I'm actually pretty lucky. A lot of people don't get this. Stay in their pajamas all Christmas Day. A lot of people have multiple places they have to Yeah. And we, we've definitely had previous holidays in the past that we weren't able to do it. Like, I used to work retail, so, like, yeah. there was no rest during the holidays. Tonight we had a, or today, we had a Harry Potter movie marathon. Yeah. That but nice. we just wanted to say thank you for enjoying our vlogs, um, becoming our friend through the comments, through Twitter, through Instagram, through saying hello to us in the parks or everywhere yeah. um we really appreciate it we we never like expected this kind of feedback when we started the daily vlog we always say first and foremost it's a, a a way to capture our memories but i definitely think it's become one of the the best qualities of doing the vlog yeah and also which is something we don't talk about a lot is we kind of have like two philosophies that we have like lived by since we started vlogging and it, it helps like the best compliment we've gotten from people that we've met in person after them watching our vlogs is like wow you guys are very, pretty much like the same people that you see in our vlogs which is like the best compliment because we try to be as genuine and not fake and staged and real as you can be when it comes to putting a portion of your life on the online yeah so that's a great compliment that we get and i think it's because <sighs> There's two, I don't even know if Sarah knows the first one I'm going to reference, but there's like two ways of living that we've done. And the first one is from the dad from the Bucketless family. And, um, no, I can't remember it. Wait, is that living every day like? Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. So the dad from, Garrett from the Bucketless family has talked in previous vlogs and in speeches he's given and lectures is that like they do a lot of diary, like entries. Then they make, if you've watched their, their YouTube video, we'll put a link somewhere, that like they do a weekly recap and that's their one week of video. One week, one video a week for their YouTube is like a, a summary of what they've done that past week. And their big thing ever since they started traveling the world was live every day so that you have something to put that you're worth remembering in your diary. Mm -hmm. And to us, this vlog is our diary. So we try to live every day with the intention of doing something. It doesn't have to be crazy. It could be, mm -hmm. this was the day we sat down and watched Harry Potter movies all day. But it's something that we want to remember today by. We don't want to just let this day idle by without doing anything. So I think that's one part that has yeah. really changed and our perspective on it's life. It's easy for us to say that because we live so close to Walt Disney World and we usually go to Disney every day. So it's almost like that has become our one thing a day. But... Anyone who lives anywhere, you know, can have that mindset, and mm -hmm. we're going to continue to use that mindset. And I think that's something that we've learned yeah. from doing that. Probably the best asset we have learned. And the second thing, the second like way statement of living by is actually from one of my favorite movies. I've referenced it before. Ironically enough, I just realized this. It's one of Garrett's from Bucketless Family's favorite movies, and it's about time. Um, he came out in 2013. Yeah, favorite. yeah. Favorite but it's probably my favorite movie of all time, next to Just Under. It's a Wonderful Life. But the final quote: the whole movie is about this this gentleman who can travel back in time, and he learns from his dad 
that the best way to live life is just to try to enjoy the small things. And like we say this all the time when it comes to that's why we sit on, that's why we eat and drink food on garbage cans on Main Street because we just like to enjoy the small things. And the final quote here is that I just try to live every day as if I've deliberately come back to this one day to enjoy it, as if it was the full final day of my extraordinary, ordinary life. So basically just live every day like it's just your normal, ordinary life and it's the last one you get to live. So just cherish every little detail, mm -hmm. whether it's that, that, that intersection you drove past that you got the green light to or the person. Just like not letting like... Like in the movie, he's on the train. Someone's listening to their music really loud, and at Which first be he's like, oh. "Like this is so annoying. I just had a long day at work, and I'm going to listen to this blaring music." But then he goes back in time and lives again, and he, you know, jams along with it because right. he enjoys like, the music and right. then appreciates that person, loving that passionate, passionate <laughs> aspect of their life. So it's always just about perspective, and I think that is the most incredible being thing. Being understanding, and also being, you know. Yeah, that's probably the be the best tool that we've started incorporating every day in our life. You know, we've we've loved the relationships we've grown the most. It was the biggest surprise for the vlog, but the best like tool and asset that we've gotten out of the vlog so far is to do that, to live every day and just cherish the small things while enjoying the big things. Because mm -hmm. clearly, we are blessed to live in a place where we live in in Disney World. But yeah, like we should, it's the small takes things. Us. Yeah. This is this, you know, adventure of living here has not that we didn't live this way necessarily before, but I think this has opened our lives to it even more so, and that we'll, you know, live like this for the rest of our life, and we'll be forever thankful for this. And you'll all be there to Perfect. enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> so with that, tomorrow is our last full day in Chicago. Mm-hmm. And it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.